Um, my name is uh, Timothy Quinn. Uh, I'm a family physician, and I work along with the Mississippi State Department of Health. And I was introduced to the Diabetes Prevention Program approximately 18 months ago, and I was so impressed with it that I asked if I could work with this program with, with uh, our patient population. Basically, this is a program that's put together by the CDC along with the uh, National Health Department Alliance through all the states. They, they have it in every state in the United States of America. And basically, it's a very, very well put together program. Uh, it's designed for individuals that are pre-diabetic, meaning that you, your blood sugar is elevated, but not high enough to be diabetes, but you're knocking on that door. And you don't want to go through that door because if you get diabetes, then you have a higher chance of having complications that could cause you not to be as well. So the whole purpose of this program is to prevent diabetes. And I am so excited to announce that our last class of last year, we had approximately 40 people in our class at the beginning. And we, we ended up with about 28. Um, we lost some people due, due to the pandemic because we would meet uh, together, but then when the pandemic came, we started meeting through Zoom, so we lost some because they, they weren't comfortable uh, with the, the Zoom technology yet. But everybody in our program lost a lot of weight. But more importantly, everybody in our program avoided diabetes. Now, I have some bad news for you. Well, first, the good news. The good news is it's absolutely free. There's no charge. There's no out-of-pocket expense. The bad news is we're not going to pay for all your new clothes. That's right, because everybody's going to need some new clothes. They get new, out, new clothing because... I mean, with this program, it really works. It's, and um, and, and Ms. Newland, she's our instructor. She's trained. She's certified. But but it goes into the practicality of getting healthier. Like when you go to the grocery store, what do you buy? If you go to a restaurant, what do you order? As far as exercise, you don't like running. You don't want to ride a bike. What are some other things you can do? But in the end, this program is successful. Now, I'm going to end, but I want to also state that we're going to have some time that we're going to invite you to meet us in a public place where we can social distance. For instance, um, we're looking at some dates. We'll, we'll get those dates later where we'll meet and do uh, dance aerobics. Everybody knows I like to dance. Everybody also knows I cannot dance, but that's good because if you can't dance, you'll probably burn more calories anyway because all those sorry moves, you'll burn more because it's not efficient. But the deal is we're going to have a lot of fun um, last year we met uh, and had two dinners where we met in restaurants and we ate healthy uh, on the dime of the health department, no charge, you can invite your families. So there's a, a lot of uh, things that we're going to do. Also want to note that you'll be provided with an app in January that will go on your phone. And with this app, you have to, every time you eat, you have to put down what you ate exactly. And we're going to help you so that you can create a diet that works for you based on what you like to eat. So there, this is a very exciting program and, and we're just so excited. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Ms. Uh, Ms. Newland, but hey, it's, it's time to get ready. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about this. So I'm gonna share my screen because I have a little PowerPoint presentation with some visuals. I'm an educator and the visuals always help me to um, make sure that I keep on track. So um, as we know, it's the Diabetes Prevention Program, Prevent T2, and as Dr. Quinn explained, um, that's exactly what we're doing. But I wanna give a little bit of background about me. I am certified as a T2 Diabetes Prevention Coach and I'm really um, thankful to have this tool under my toolbox to help more and more people. Um, my foundational background, I am a dancer, so maybe I can teach you to bust a few moves. Um, long time um, dancer, I'm 58 years old. Mom put me in dance when I was four years old and have been dancing all my life. I am an educator, professor in a university setting, but also um, a health and wellness coach. And actually, I need to upgrade this. Um, just received a certification as a health minister. So I'm licensed as a minister as well. So this is my family. 
And this picture was just taken a couple of weeks ago. So we have a lot of amazing um, growth happening. And as you can see right here, there's a little bit more still coming along. <laughs> um, so my passion to prevent diabetes and to stay healthy is just the longevity of life that I want to have. And I'm imagining you do as well um, because we want to leave a legacy and we want to live long and live well. So this program, again, as Dr. Quinn noted, it is in partnership with the National Diabetes Prevention Program, which really has such a great partnership all around the nation. And Quinn Healthcare has grabbed a hold of this vision of what the um, US um, CDC is presenting. And so with this program, we know that the program is backed in research. We know that it helps to delay type two diabetes. And if you really stay with it, it really can be that which is preventative. Um, so again, Type 2 diabetes has been on the incline, and we don't want to be that statistic. One out of three American adults has prediabetes, and most of them do not know it. Having prediabetes, again, means that your blood glucose sugar level is higher than normal, but not, not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetes. This raises your risk of type 2 diabetes. Also, it raises your risk for heart disease and stroke. So without weight loss or moderate physical activity, many people with pre-diabetes can develop type 2 diabetes within five years. Type 2 diabetes is a serious condition that can lead to these health issues. Again, heart attack, stroke, blindness, kidney, kidney failure, or loss of toes, um, feet or legs. So we want to be proactive and prevent this. Again, type 2 diabetes, our body can't properly um, and sufficiently handle in insulin. And we know that 90 to 95 percent of all diagnosed cases that those are adults with type 2 diabetes uh, account for that much percentage, 90 to 95 percent of the cases. So we want to prevent it. We want to make sure that we are preventing further complications in our health that can um, be negative and not positive. So we want to be proactive. Again, with this program, um, we know that if you are eligible, which um, Dr. Quinn and the office has sent an invitation to you, potentially these are some of the um, situations or scenarios for you, that you're overweight, that you are 45 years of age or older, that your parents or sibling has type two diabetes, that you are physically active fewer than three times a week, that if you've ever given birth to a baby that weighed more than nine pounds, if you've ever had diabetes while pregnant, which is gestational diabetes, it's also um, more complicated because of race and ethnicity can also affect our risk. African-Americans, Hispanic, Latino Americans, American Indians, Pacific Islanders, and some Asian Americans are particularly high risk for type two diabetes. And the following are the percentages of people, and I'll just let you look at that. I'm not gonna go through each one, but as you can see, we um, know that um, our beautiful um, dark skin, brown skin, brothers and sisters can have a greater risk. And so we wanna be proactive for that not to be um, perpetuated. Um, so again, we know a part of this all occurs because when you um, have type 2 diabetes, it's when you eat, your body breaks down food into glucose type of sugar. But in people with, at, without type 2 diabetes, there is this normal way of insulin being produced through your body. But in people with type 2 diabetes, again, I'm just reiterating, it's not functioning well. Your body isn't functioning well. And we know that type 2 diabetes are harmful. Again, some of the things I didn't reiterate um, were how it can affect your nerves, how it can affect your eyes, what it can do for your gum health and for your skin health. So we want to feed and fuel on the inside because our cells are dispersed to come out and come forward. And so we want to keep that healthy glow and making sure that um, we prevent type two diabetes really will be a part of helping all of these areas um, in our body and our health and our life to flourish. And then again, we've already articulated what the likelihood is for you to have type two diabetes. Um, we just won't need to get us moving. And we know that we need to um, regulate our weight 
and um, make sure that we're more in the preventative mode. So with this program, here's what we get. We get um, a CDC approved curriculum. We get skills that you need to lose weight and to be more physically active and to manage stress. So it can all go hand in hand. Um, a trained life coach to guide, encourage you. Woohoo! That's me. And um, support for with other participants with um, same goals as you. So that's a big part of this. Also, it's just the camaraderie that we have with one another. And it's making sure that we are um, able to encourage one another because you're going to have some similar challenges or some similar successes and places to be able to commiserate and also to celebrate. And then this is a year long program with weekly meetings for the first six months. And then after that, we'll meet once or twice a month for the latter part, um, the last six months. So here's a, um, a particular gentleman. Why do I prevent T2? My wife and I want to have a long and happy future together. So when my doctor told me that I had prediabetes, I knew preventing two, type two diabetes had to become a priority. So I'm going to let you listen to the story of this woman who shares about her journey and her success. I was overweight, making all the wrong choices, knew that I should be doing something, but I wasn't motivated to do so. I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with prediabetes. I have high blood pressure, my A1C is high. My doctor advised me that I needed to make some changes in my life. I joined the class so that I can get support in the goal of losing weight, eating better, and also exercising more. I enjoy the class, we have a lot of laughs. I've learned that I need to be in a group setting because we support each other, we help each other, and everybody has a different perspective on the same situation, and we share information. Our class coach, Cynthia, is amazing. She's a very positive person. She is our cheerleader, if you will. She tells us that even though we make mistakes, they're not permanent, that we can learn from them and grow from them and maybe make different choices in the future. Against all odds, I've lost some weight. I have started to work out a little better. I've had more energy. I am walking more and I am actually looking for other things to do to increase my physical activity along with eating better. I'm more conscious of what I need to do to take care of myself. It's not about how long you live, it's about how well you live. I prevent T2 for me so that I can live a long and healthy life. So that's a great story, right? And she is just an amazing, ordinary woman, just like us. Um, so as I showed you a picture of my family, what I want you to do is just in your own mind, picture your mind, in your mind, your friends, your family, and think about people you love and think about people who love you. So what will it take to motivate you to make some changes? And maybe it's you've got your own goals for um, health um, that you're just just really driven, or maybe it's simply because you really want to um, be a, a model for people in your family or people that you work with, or maybe you've got some goals of things that are on your bucket list. I don't know what your story is, um, but each one of us need to make choices every single day that will allow us, I think, to just fulfill our callings and to fulfill our purposes. And making sure that we're taking care of this incredible vessel is a part of that journey. So Prevent T2, we are given a participant guide, which is really amazing. And just here's a little bit of the table of contents. Um, so we cover things like how to get active, um, tracking our activity, tips for eating well, um, tracking our food intake, getting more active, burning um, more calories than you take in. So it's real practical, like Dr. Quinn noted, just we can even meet at a grocery store 
and get some ideas on what are the best foods to, to purchase to make sure we're reaching our goals, um, coping triggers, how to keep your heart healthy, um, ways to get support and to encourage one another and staying motivated. So a lot of this are things that are obtainable, but unless we have that accountability, I really feel like um, many people, and it's it's getting close to New Year's, right? New Year's resolutions, and we can all set them. But if I had you raise your hand and say, um, yes, I've set New Year's um, goals in the past, most of you would raise your hand. And then I'd say, put them down, and I'd say, okay, and how many <laughs> of you kept those? <laughs> and maybe not many of you would raise those hands again. So we want to help you keep them. And we want to help you make this a part of a priority for your life. Um, so this is, again, just a little insert that, again, shows us some of the ideas about how the program runs. Um, in the first um, six months, we have a goal of losing 5 to 7% of your starting weight. And then to get at least 150 minutes of physical activity each week. And I'll show you a little bit more about what that's like. And then in that second six months, we want to make sure that we're continuing to keep off that weight. We want to make sure we're continuing to move towards our more ideal goal weight, um, losing more weight if we wish, keeping that physical activity going, and then losing weight again. We've reiterated this, what it does. It helps us in so many ways, but it also can help us with um, easing our sleep problems, arthritis, depression, um, lowering our blood pressure and cholesterol level, and um, makes us feel better about ourselves. And then getting more um, physically active can help us have more energy, helps us to sleep better, improves our memory, balance, and flexibility, lifts our mood, lowers our blood pressure and cholesterol, lowers our risk of heart attack and stroke, lowers our stress, and strengthens our muscles and bones. Those are all things that are on the positive and beneficial list. So again, we get this guide and we have these tools that are gonna help us to reach our personal um, best. And a part of this is just supplementary materials that will come in a link virtually to you that you can click on. You, it's not very complicated and you can just keep um, being motivated beyond our um, sessions that we have, our weekly sessions that we have. And then what we can expect, again, these are delivered directly to you after the classes. You'll get a link so you can follow along with these materials. Again, it's not complicated. And the information that you are sharing, it is private information. So that information isn't accessible to other people. Um, so this is one of the lesson, just a sample lesson. Um, so uh, activity goal in the next six months that I will move at least 150 minutes of act having physical activity. And then you will look at also the physical aspect of losing that five or six or seven um, just percentage of your body weight. And so it just looks like this. This is just a little graph that is weight by um, loss of numbers that you'll see. And so it looks like this. So weight loss, so you would have a starting weight wherever that might be. There's a couple of charts with this, but say we'll start here if somebody's at 220 pounds. If in um, those first months your goal is to lose um, 5%, then that's going to be 11 pounds. And if it's to lose 6%, that's 13 pounds. And if it's um, 7%, so that's 15 pounds. So it's pretty systematic and easy, easily um, we can calculate it. Another one of our lessons participant guide is of um, lessons that's focusing on um, making sure that we're keeping physically active and we're given tips on ways to do that. And as Dr. Quinn noted, we can also meet and do some physical activity, but I also lead some movement on Zoom like this as well. So we can clear out a little place in your living room or your bedroom or depending on what the weather's like and bust a little move. We don't have to take up a lot of room to get the um, body in motion. So we, we like dance parties. 
And then participant guide, um, tracking our activity and eating well. So these are just some samples. Um, this is a sample of physical activity. So you might think, okay, gosh, do I gotta run? Do I have to go to a pool and swim? No, these other kinds of activities that you are doing every day count as physical activity. You can keep track of them. So if you're having a dance party, that's awesome. That's gonna be physical activity. But if you're doing household chores, that also counts. So you're moving. So you can just maybe add a little bit of extra rhythm to your wax on and wax off <laughs> or um, turn on the music and have a little dance party. I do that in the kitchen. I um, turn on music and I'm cooking and I'm chopping in rhythm and I'm I'm stirring my pot. So there's ways to do it, to have, have a lot of fun. Um, and then logging our progress, that's really important. And that'll be a part of this program as well, because those who kept daily um, food records lost twice as much weight as those who kept no record. The simple act of writing down what you eat encourages people to consume fewer cal calories. And so there is something about that accountability and you're aware of it. So if we're just mindlessly eating and we're not paying attention, when we're educated to learn more about what it is that we're doing and how many calories, then we're more mindful to realize, well, I have a goal and we're here to help in that. Um, managing stress is another one of the, um, the sessions. And so coping with challenges, we really wanna help all of us to cope with challenges in particular. We're still in this pandemic time. New variants are continuing to pop up. We don't know how long this is going to be our reality. And so that might be just one um, um, area that we're having to cope. So practical resources, tips provided within our curriculum, helpful support and accountability provided with our community. And then again, this approved curriculum, life coach, um, people that you're comrades with, peers that we're journeying together. So I've got a few quotes I'd like to leave with us as we're culminating. Um, when you have exhausted all possibilities, remember this, you haven't. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. We don't even know how strong we are until we are forced to bring that hidden strength forward. Where there is no struggle, there is no strength. So, this amazing life, I believe, is so incredibly worth living, and we are honored to be on this journey with you all because each one of you have worth, you have value, you are important, and you really, really matter. So what will it take to motivate you to make some changes in your personal health? Hopefully you'll stir those questions within you and ponder them and want to join in in this program so we can have some amazing success together. All right, start date, January the 4th, 2022 is when we will begin and we're excited to get started. So I know Dr. Quinn probably will come back on here in just a moment and share a little bit more, but we um, will make sure you get emails and information that you need to get you signed up. So again, thank you for this time. And we can also take some questions now if you have any questions, but it's my honor um, to meet all of you. And I hope to, to be able to have this journey together. Dr. Quinn, over to you. Thank, thank you so much, Ms. Newland. And um, I don't know about everybody out there, but I'm pumped. I'm ready. Woo! But one thing that we're going to do is we're going to kind of, as, as uh, Ms. Newland was saying, just be your coach, you know, as far as exercise. We're not going to get on there and yell at people saying, go out there, run, you know, 18,000 miles or, or just eat you know, like little stuff. We're going to work with you to help you make informed decisions on what you want to do as far as activity, what you want to eat, but we're going to provide you with guidance. And hopefully, you know, instead of, like my grandma used to say, don't give a fishing rod. She'd tell me that she's going to give me, I'm sorry, she's tell me I'm not going to give you fish, but I'm going to give you a fishing rod. I'm going to teach you how to catch fish because the whole purpose of this program is not just to help you know, everybody get to a healthier weight and a healthier state of health. 
but also to help people develop skills that we can use for the rest of our lives so that we can we can be 55, 65, 75, 85, and still healthy because that's the ultimate goal. Because you know our time on earth is not only about the quantity of years, but the quality of years. Five years old at the wedding doing that electric shuffle, you know, that, that, old, that old silver fox, that's what I wanna be. But, <laughs> but the deal is, like Ms. Newland said, we'll meet every week and every week will be a specific um, lesson, you know, like Ms. Newton said, you know, one week we'll learn about grocery store. What do we, you know, so every week is something. Now, another thing is understand that everything is anonymous, meaning you don't have to share with the group how much weight you lost or if you didn't lose any weight that particular week, that if you want to, you can do it because what our last class, you know, most of the people, they were so proud. They were, you know, I lost two pounds in one week. <laughs> But, but the deal is, is anonymous. But what we will ask you to do is we're going to have a system set up where <laughs> once a week you would um, email um, to, a, to a Quinn Healthcare secure email account what your weight is every week. And then we'll, we'll keep up with it for you. And now we are going to report it to the health department, but we will not put a name with it. So your identity will never be revealed to anyone unless you come on the Zoom call or when we meet out, you let people know, but we will not, um, we will be very respectful of everyone and never compromise, you know, respect for others. So never, never feel like, you know, we're gonna just blurt out your business to other people. I think we're good. So is, is everybody pumped and ready? Some emails with correspondence between now and then, and, um, you know, all this information, but Ms. Newland, she'll probably, You'll, you'll probably send out the first packet between now and then. Is that correct, Ms. Newland? Okay. And, and let me just say this. If anybody on the call has anyone they know that has prediabetes, meaning that they've gone to their doctor, they don't necessarily have to be a Quinn healthcare doctor. If they know someone that has prediabetes, they've been told by their doctor, um, you can give them my information and, and I can get them signed up for the class. Um, this, everybody has my number, don't they? Because I'm the only doctor where every patient has my cell phone. I, my wife and I went out to dinner with uh, two of our favorite patients uh, two weeks ago. We, we went out and celebrated because we he, we had a challenge going on. And he and his wife, they, they were in competition with me and my wife. But, but, but the deal is um, you can give them my number. And if, if you don't know my number, you know, it's um, 601-331. 3881. That's 601-331-3881. And if you don't remember, you can just reply to the email, you know, to my wife because it came, the email came from my wife or me mm -hmm. and just ask for the number and we can sign them up. And uh, lastly, just want to say, if you have a spouse or a friend or somebody that you want to sit in with the class with you so they can get the information, that's fine. You know, your, your spouse or or, or a friend, they can be with you and, and uh, just get the information and, and get better. Because I'm gonna tell you, when, when you have a, a healthy house, it's very helpful. And what I mean by that is, like for instance, my wife and I, we, we're always trying to be healthy. And like, like we'll go somewhere and they give us a plate and it has like a cake in there. And then we'll bring the cake home and man, we, you don't want that. So that's pretty much it for me. Do you have anything else, Ms. Newland? I don't have anything else. I don't know if, um, so Kedra, are you singing us a little something? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no pressure. I, I think the person y'all get all the emails from. Um, if you know anyone who wanted to just sit in on the meetings or a spouse family member, we do record the meetings just in case they're missed and we can send those out to you all whenever. Mm -hmm. But I try to send those out to anybody who requests those. Mm -hmm. And if you are interested in participating in the group, you can reply back to the email to me and I'll go ahead and put you on our roster. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so it's all good. So I guess until uh, January the 4th at 6.30, is that correct, Ms. Newland? Correct, that okay. is correct. And, and everybody will receive email correspondence, but feel free to reach out to me um, if you, you want to talk to me, just text me and then say, call me. Cause you know, sometimes I'm in a room with a patient, but then I'll excuse myself and call you right away. But I'm, I'm excited. We're going to have a great time. This is going to be a great year and everybody's going to be 
greatly successful. Mm -hmm. Everybody have a great evening and Merry Christmas oh, yeah. and Happy New Year and get ready.